Well, to get on here and explain what we're doing, because I didn't really do my walk around or mention any of that, I am extending a two inch uh, water main to a new construction home. It's about 700 feet from here. Uh, I don't, this main was put in, uh, I think they said 2002, 2004. Uh, and it just stops in these people's yard. There's actually two more houses that I'm gonna have to dig through the fronts of their yards on the utility easement and under their driveways to get to the third house, which is the new construction house. Uh, the other two that I have to cross are on wells, because this is actually out of the city limits. Years ago, there was a job where the water company actually got kind of like a government grant or something to run water out of town here because it, most of these people were on wells, but the wells started going bad. So they got water to this area, but then the other two houses, like I said, are still on wells, but the new construction home uh, was in an impact zone or something. The well was, they were going to try to drill one, I guess, or I don't know all the details. It was going to be extremely expensive, one of the two. So he opted to pay to extend the water main. So now you got to go up here to where it stops and he has to pay for uh, hooking onto it and burying it all the way to his house. The neighbors are able to hook onto it if they want to or if their well goes bad. Uh, the water company is also going to come out this time and kind of hook this one up because what I'm digging around right now is what they call a flusher valve. So we'll have to have one on the end of the line whenever I get done with it, but that way they can flush the system out if need be. And then they may even put a shut off back in this spot, but I've not done one of these, so they're going to kind of go over with me when we get to that point. So I just dug down to what they call the thrust block, which is a chunk of concrete kind of on the end of that line just to help uh, kind of keep it in the ground or support it when the water is turned on and off. So I didn't get too carried away with loosening that up. Uh, we'll dig around that later when we get ready to actually hook the line up. Uh, I had to dig the ditch 36 inches deep. I'm using the 18 inch wide bucket just so I got a little bit of room to get down in there. I will have to put six inches of screenings or like lime sand or fines in the bottom of this ditch because it's so rocky and then we'll lay the pipe in there and then I'll have to put 12 inches of screenings on top of there. And then we can backfill with the remainder of this dirt. And then like I said, I'll have to come back in and do my restoration. I think we're actually gonna put a little bit of sod in this lady's yard cause it's got Zoiza sod that was in there. And then the other ones we'll just uh, put fescue seed out and blow straw on. But as you can tell from the video, it is extremely rocky. Uh, I was guesstimating like two two and a half days to dig this with the depth I had to go it took me almost four days and I wore out uh, I think two two to three full sets of teeth and I actually got the ripper and I put two new teeth on it so it's a very rocky site up on top of a hill and this stuff has never been dug before so yeah it was kind of a slow go and we were uh, I think later in this video, I actually dig across one of these people's driveways because we were going to actually use the mole hog and bore under it, but it was so rocky that we could not get it to punch a hole in the underneath there. So we ended up having to saw cut and dig up their driveways, which I wasn't real fond of. But then we did uh, put a sleeve back in there so I could get their driveway up and going because I'm also waiting on the pipe. They had a thousand feet of it for this job. And then the week I was digging this out, they had two main breaks. And I think they only had, I don't know, 300 feet or something like that left. And they didn't have any more pipes. So they didn't want me to take it in case they had any more main breaks or had anything else they had to do. So I just got the ditch dug right now. And then uh, actually at the end of the week or the beginning of the next week, the pipe did show up. So I'm a little bit behind on the videos and filming. So... There's also not a ton of footage on here of the digging because to me, it, I mean, you guys kind of, it's pretty monotonous. I mean, I don't know how many different ways I can film <laughs> digging a 700 foot long ditch, but uh, like I said, this is the first day. So I tried to show a few different angles and what we we're kind of getting into here. But uh, yeah, hopefully in the next couple days, we'll uh, get this thing dug, get the pipe in and start back filling it. Like I said, then these people will... Uh, have some water here pretty soon, so we'll let you get guy. I'll we'll let you back to watching me uh, scratching on some rock now.